Morning, everybody. It is uh, 8.37 on this Thursday morning, and because it's Thursday, it's Claims Day. Okay. Um, claims came in a shade light, uh, 222 versus 232 last week. Continuing claims, a real beat, a million seven ninety four versus a million seven eighty one, which was revised. So decent. Um, the uh, big misses were in housing starts and permits. Housing starts a million three sixty versus a million four twenty one expected permits. A million four forty versus a million four eighty. Uh, Philly Fed uh, is a uh, another, well, it's a decent number. Uh, it's not a negative number, which it's had a string of for the last uh, eight or 10 months. Uh, it's 4.5 versus an expectation of eight. So while it's still a miss, um, it's certainly not by much, and it is still in the positive. Import prices come in hot, up nine tenths of a percent. Ex petroleum still comes in at up seven tenths, and that's a month over month. The year over year is up 1.3. Uh, export prices are up five tenths versus up two tenths. Uh, and the year-over-year -year number there is down one versus down one. Um, if these sound kind of boring, you can count on the fact that they are. Literally, there has been just about no change whatsoever in the futures. Before the numbers, we were up 36 Currently, we're up 27 in the Dow. In the NASDAQ, we were up 30. Now, we're up 14. And in the S&P, we were up 7. Now, we're up a shade under 3. So, no effect at all. We still have some more numbers coming. Uh, we'll have... Um, at 9.15, industrial production and capacity utilization. And at 10.30, we have the Nat Gas um, inventories. Uh, the corporate news is simple, a whole bunch of beats. Walmart beat, it's up 5.6% at 63.81. Cisco last night beat 51.18, that's up a dollar. 51, and uh, they had decent guidance. Uh, JD.com beat, Baidu beat, John Deere, also a beat of 67 cents, beats on revenues, and provides guidance, and the stock is 393. That's down 21 or 5.1%. Uh, AT&T some merger deal stock is unchanged. Uh, Chubb, CB, a name we don't hear a lot about. It's an insurance company, I believe. And Berkshire Hathaway discloses a new large position in Chubb. Berkshire Hathaway is so heavy into insurance, you know, I just don't know. Uh, okay, Silverbow, S-B-O-W, is $35.74. That's up $3.39, or 10%. It's being um, acquired by Crescent Energy. That's C-R-G-Y. Shareholders will get 3.125 shares of Ches uh, Crescent. Um, and uh, if you want, there'll be an option to take cash, all or a portion in cash, and the value there is about $38. So that's pretty much pegged in this area. Chart on the screen is the silver, another higher, high, higher, low, huge move yesterday. Uh, we're into this double top, or it looks like a double top. If you go back a bit, you'll see that it there are multiple tops in here. I might take a profit on this today. Um, 
since it does generally turn down. And even though it's higher highs and higher lows, we've now come from uh, 26 and a quarter to today's high, 30, 10. Um, that's a fairly substantial move for any commodity, but silver especially, because it tends to sell off. The gold is a little lower. The MACD did, in fact, cross, as I said it would, and um, I'll have to think long and hard on this one to make a decision about whether or not I want to be uh, in it or out of it uh, for um, you know, a day or so. Uh, grain slightly higher, oil slightly higher. Um, this one had a nice reversal yesterday, but um, it, it hasn't followed through much. Again, though, it is a higher, high, higher low for this morning. Uh, let's see, net gas is uh, up about a penny and a half. As I said, the gold is down seven, the silver is up five, the copper is down two and a half. This one hit five ten yesterday. Pretty amazing. Um, the soft cotton up, coffee up, sugar down, cocoa down. This sugar is getting awfully cheap on a fundamental basis. Um, the dollar is slightly higher. Uh, the bonds are slightly higher. Bitcoin and Ethereum are basically unchanged. Bitcoin up 200, Ethereum down 29. All right, folks, I'll keep you informed on that uh, silver trade through uh, WhatsApp and the uh, behind the curtain Discord room.